All right, welcome back. <clears throat> nice, nice. Welcome back to Stable Talk. This morning we have two runners from the cross country team with us. We have Michaela Sabo and John Womack. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. Yeah, I'm feeling all right. Everyone, <laughs> everyone's still waking up a little out here. That's all right. But yeah, tell us whatever you guys want us to know. Your majors, hometowns, all that good stuff. Um, I'm a bio major. Um, for, I mean, I'm new to the bio major. Um, I was a nursing major last year. I um, I switched majors because um, I felt like as a nursing major, like the only place you can kind of go is nursing. And so like as a bio major, I can like, um, cause I have like, I have a heart murmur. And so I like my cardiologist, he like kind of like, he's like such a great dude. <laughs> he's like a great <laughs> dude and everything. And so like, he just like really like, I don't know, I'm just like, dang, like I kind of want to do this. Cause like, he's like always brought a like smile to my face and everything. And so like, having like bio like it's easier to get to medical school and mm -hmm. so like that's like one of my goals and like I have a new one now but like I still talk to my old one like all the time that's and like we're like we're like just best friends and everything and so like I had to make the switch make the switch I like that story yeah I'm a fashion design major and I'm minoring in photography and graphic design so Hopefully with like athletics, I can do something designing for like uniforms or shoes or whichever. I'm excited for Yeah, that'd be sweet. Or Under Armour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Baltimore, that'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Is that your like go-to style is like athletic wear? Um, not really. I like dressing up, but. Like what would you describe your like style as? Ooh. Your aesthetic. It depends. Your aesthetic that you try to do every day. Ooh. I'm not like, I don't dress up like that much, like dresses and skirts. I definitely do like more casual, mm -hmm. but it just depends. I don't know. I feel like edgy a little bit. Edgy? I like With, edgy. like casual. Yeah, for sure. So you guys are both from New Jersey, right? Yeah. yeah. What's uh? We keep what, having all these New Jersey people on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the better state for like trails, running trails? Arizona. Definitely not New Jersey. I would say <laughs> Maryland. <laughs> Maryland. Yeah. I mean, there's like one trail near me, so it's kind of hard. I like run like in my neighborhood and everything like that, but mm -hmm. I would definitely say Maryland. Yeah. What, like, what's like the most difficult course, like terrain? That's, like that's, what makes it difficult? Um, Hills and stuff. So honestly, it depends because sometimes hills can be like to yeah. our advantage in a way. Okay. Like everyone has to go up them and stuff like that. But okay. For me, sometimes like when a course you do multiple laps in the course, uh, it's kind of harder. Like I feel like one yeah. lap around like a course would be easier for me anyway yeah no I, I get that yeah when you guys run in the summer or I guess any time of the year like by yourselves how long would you casually typically run um my cap it off at like 10 or 8, eight to 10 you cap it off at 10 miles you said Ooh. yeah yeah I cap it off at two miles <laughs> Oh, like, in wait, the summertime, like wait, right before you guys got on, I was telling Jay, in the summertime, I don't run outside. I like myself too much to do that to myself. <laughs> it's hard in the summer. It's like, it's so, so hot, hard. But... Like, you gotta do it early, early morning if I actually wanted to do it, or late like, but then, or late at night, but then I just had dinner and mm -hmm. then I don't make it very far. <laughs> That's why I run like in the morning to see it out of the way, but yeah. Um, do you guys listen, are you li listen to music when you run or no? Since I got my AirPods, yes. <laughs> but like, cause like, I was just like, yeah. Like in high school, we just were like never allowed to listen to music or like who, mm -hmm. people who did listen to music were like JV and like <laughs> we were trying everything not to be JV. But like now since like we're damn. I mean, I haven't done that school yet, so, like, we'll yeah. have to see, because, like, I don't want Bajane to see me. 
mm-hmm. and then be and then be like what you what you got in your ears so i'll be like yeah. these, oh these are my hearing aids like oh my <laughs> i slam the door too loud and now i can't hear yeah wow. we both, like, normally don't during practice but yeah like by myself i do yeah I feel uh, like I have to wear them when I'm running or I get like super bored, but I'm like also counting in my head like, okay, it's, every song's like about three minutes. So in order to run for X amount of time, yes, I have yes, to listen to X amount yes, of songs and then I'm just yes. like dreading it all, but I'll get so bored if I don't. We're going to move into Would You Rather now, first segment. Okay, would you rather be covered in fur or covered in scales? Oh, 100% scales. Yeah, scales. Scales, really? <laughs> yeah, that'd be Actually, cool. Yeah. I'm big into like snakes, and like I could just see like just like me having like a rainbow boa, and just like I'm just <laughs> like like I look brown at one point, and then I like turn in the sun, and then I'm just like glowing and like glistening, and then everyone's like <laughs> the drip, the drip, <laughs> the drip. Yeah. yeah, like I want one that kind of looks like a mermaid, though. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I was thinking, like, fish scales, like, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. All right, similar. Would you rather be able to talk to land animals, talk to animals that fly, or talk to animals that live underwater? Oh, definitely underwater. Like, I was going to say underwater, for sure. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I gotta, I think- 90% of the world is, like, undiscovered because it's all underwater. So I'm yeah. going to talk to the animals. <laughs> I, I, I know what's go- well, it's up down there. I'd love to talk to a bird, though. Oh, no. I feel like pigeons are, like, mad. <laughs> they just be like... Uh, not a pigeon. It's got to be a cool bird, like a phoenix or a hawk or something. Yeah. A bald eagle. I yeah, feel like they yeah. might be, like... They might be kind of mean. Maybe. We'll never know unless we talk to them, I guess. True. I'll give you that one. Okay. Would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green or never have to stand in line ever again. Never have to stand in line. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Cause that would be really convenient, like all being green. Yeah. Yeah, you would never be late to anything. In- you would yeah. never be late to anything. Yeah. I feel like every time I approach like a stop light, like, it's always like red. <laughs> or like <laughs> I need to go somewhere fast and then Yeah. So I would say that. Sometimes mm-hmm. I like like red lights if I'm not in a hurry because I don't want to get somewhere. <laughs> Just like procrastinating me getting somewhere. Not staying in line like at Hershey Park and stuff would be nice. Or at the doctor's office. Oh, I guess that's because they're staying in line. Yeah. yeah. Those are really annoying. They're like, show up 15 minutes early, but we're not going to take you back until 30 minutes after your appointment. Yeah. <laughs> I had to go to the to my surgeon because I got like some wisdom teeth out and like my numb my mouth was still numb and it's been like two weeks, and she said, "All right, get here at six and then we'll come out, we'll come out and get you." She didn't come get me to like six forty five. Hey, I bet it was by seven. And then like I'm over here like making plans with my friends to go get like pliables, and then they're getting mad at me because they're about to close, and I'm like, "I'm sorry." Last, would you rather? Would you rather be? Forced to dance every time you heard music, or forced to sing along with any song you heard. This is in public and everything, by the way. Ooh. I mean, I do that anyway. So let me think about it. <laughs> Say dance. Dance. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I can. I can like. I can dug it anything. Because I feel like you can like low key dance. I don't know. But you can't. Yeah. Like, sing. You don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not a good singer. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, I don't know, you can pick the volume you sing at, I guess. I can hum really well. <laughs> that singing? That counts as singing. <laughs> I mean, just sing at, like, Billy Ellis volume. Because she sings really quietly. Oh, yeah, she, like, whispers. There's some good memes about Billy Ellis in the stew. And it's just, like, videos of people whispering. <laughs> Yeah, and people just eat it up. She's just like everybody's like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you guys been watching any good movies or TV shows yet, or not yet? During quarantine. <laughs> during quarantine. 
I do have some. I do have some tough picks. I got some great. I've got some great movies. Not and just, what did you watch? Top recently? three that you've watched during quarantine. You said top three. Yeah, but cor- Corona on March fourteenth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Are we doing like just on Netflix, or, like everything? Hit us. Like, Hit us. All right. I think I'm gonna focus on Netflix for so. A movie I've seen recent when I got home from Flagstaff. It's called The Old Guard. They're basically like um like these um they're like our saviors, and like they um they like protect the world from like stuff that happens, and like they're immortal. And um there's this one part actually that's that I had to watch like three or four times because I had I, I just like understand it. No, no, like I just could not believe that that just happened. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Like, I was like, no way that, did he just, because, like, I think it freaked me out because, like, I like I don't know if you guys have ever been thrown over somebody's shoulder, but, like, you usually just, like, like, if I throw you over my shoulder, you was like, ah, ha, ha, and, like, you land on your back. But this guy yeah. landed on, straight on his neck and died. And I was like, Ooh. like, it sounded like a Dorito, like, you ate a Dorito. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. I was like, it was a great movie, though. <laughs> <laughs> um... What else? Avatar Korra. You said Legend of Korra? Yes. Yeah, I uh, I wanted to watch that. I've been re-watching The Last Airbender just because like, I watched that I obviously when it was on. And, um, I'll combine like, those two. I never really watched it start to finish. But yeah, I've been told that Korra is worth the watch. What about you, Michaela? Top three things you've watched? I don't really... Ever since I've been home and like baseball started, I've only watched like baseball. So yeah, <laughs> I watched a lot of like. Who's your team? <laughs> but who's your team? The Yankees. Gotcha. They've been struggling, but okay. <laughs> it's like still fun to watch. So yeah. yeah, that's what I've been into. All right, we're gonna move into some Q and A. When did you know you were either good or fast at running? When it. Ooh, that's like a good hard question. Okay. Um. That's actually, ooh. I don't know. I never like thought of myself as like fast because there's always people that are gonna be like faster than you, and you're always gonna have like competition and all that. But last, what you? Oh my god, we didn't even have the season. Um, winner. I like Max, mm-hmm. and I like actually placed. I was like, I'm in this, you know. <laughs> so I, yeah. Like, thought that was like exciting. But, yeah, I never, like, thought of myself as, like, fast because there's always people that you got to, you know, compete with and yeah. stuff. So. about you, John? Um, when, did I think, when did I think I was fast at running? Or even just, like, when you realized that you wanted to run in college. Yeah. Oh, that, one, that one's easy. I went to my cardiologist, and he's basically like, yeah, you've been running? I was like, yeah, I run a little bit. He's like, hmm, you should keep doing that for the rest of your life. And I was like. I was actually gonna okay. ask if your cardiologist was like supporting you running, or if he was like opposed yeah. to it. Yeah, they um. Cause I assume he'd be opposed to you playing like football, right? But nah, he actually said like I'm, I'm clear for all sports. It's just oh. um, I have what's called a bird chest. I don't know if you know what a bird chest is, but like it's like when like um like if a car and a bird were to meet at the same red light, going opposite ways, and they say like real weak. Like, like, like it's real, like it's real easy to knock the wind out of me. So I was just like, I'm going to make a decision. <laughs> I was, like, I was wondering where you're going with that analogy. All it's like a, weak che- like a weak chest type thing. I was trying to picture a bird and a truck flying in an intersection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The bird, bird loses every time. The bird but, loses um, every time. Okay. I, yeah. I get your analogy now. And then running is like, running is like, for me personally, I love like the I love like being like the team setting of running. I love like being able to cheer on my teammates and stuff while also having a race myself. Because like I know with a like a lot of sports, like like I played AAU basketball for a while and like just like looking at it, like my teammates were like real good. So like I like didn't play a lot a lot, but like when I did get in, like I did my thing or whatever. You said basketball. But, like, yeah, I was like. Yeah, our, our next part. one is actually. That's our next question. If you yeah, were to play any other sport, what would it be? I'd play lacrosse. Oh, lacrosse. What about yeah. you? I 100% soccer. I've played soccer before, so. 
Okay. One thing on your bucket list. Backflip. Backflip. On flat ground. I love that. So hand. simple. No hand, no so hand simple. backflip. Into a pool or on? Nah, like on like a, like a dangerous surface, like on a tether line or something. That way, like. Jeez. That's what way, are you like, doing to get this bucket list item checked off? Are you actively? Oh, oh that's a, that's a, not a <laughs> You can definitely do it if you like practice every day. Yeah. You gotta oh, start stretching every day. Yeah. No, but that one, not Work on a tight There we go. You watch someone do the, yeah, holding you in a back lean. I think I've done it. I think I've done a back flip like. Can you do a front flip? No. Okay, you, let's try the front flip. Front, can you front flip into a pool? Have you ever tried? No. No. Yes, and like it's kind of like you know oh, how like when you go to do something, and like you're like halfway, you're like, no, no, I don't want to do yeah. this anymore. So like I usually end up going like off the diving board, like, and your legs flinging over probably. No, nah, they I probably can teach like you how to do a front flip on a diving board. Probably go like that far back. Watch YouTube like, videos. I'll try that. That's what I did to learn a front flip off a diving board. Is YouTube videos. I probably should learn how to swim first, but like, we'll it's just, we'll just hit everything. Like, let's, gonna, let's just add all these other ones to the list for you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I probably, you know what? Probably instead of doing the backflip, it'd probably be to swim efficiently. Michaela, what's on your bucket list? I would say definitely like to drive cross country, like all the way. Oh, yeah. Would you go out west first? Um, yeah, like, or maybe start East Coast and then go to the West Coast. But Have you been out West? Yeah. I've been to Cali. We went to Flagstaff in Arizona. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's as far as gotten. But Would you be in an RV? Traveling. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Mm-hmm. You know, like, huge RV and go with a bunch of friends or something. Yeah, that'd be yeah. fun. That'd be fun. Yeah, you can yeah. volunteer. <laughs> we always tell everyone you gotta tell us your favorite coach story or coach moment. So what's the fa- What's what's your favorite uh, coach Berdan story for the podcast? I would remember. I think it was my freshman year, and I'm always like, I was just a little backstory. I always like fill up my gas tank as soon as I hit like half like half full. I don't know if that's a thing for most people, but as soon as I wait like half full, I like fill it up all the way. Cause I just get really nervous about like yeah. driving with like an empty take of gas. Mm. So freshman year, we were coming back from like a, tr- like a long trip and he knew I was like really nervous about like gas and all that. And he like pretended like we ran out of gas and we were like going up a hill <laughs> and he pretended to like roll backward. I don't know. It was just really crazy. And I got like really nervous. I know he was like playing, but like, it was really funny. Cause we had like three miles left to get to school and they oh always went the last minute to get gas. And I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> I say that was like the funniest moment. Is that like a um, New Jersey thing to keep your gas tank half full because they pump it for you? No. No, Probably not. <laughs> I'd be on E. I might be on E right now. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I used I, mean, to, I used to let it get to the light. Not really anymore. In high school, I let it get to E because I didn't have money. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say when I was like, oh, stretch. I'd be stretching my I'd be like, Can you take this sixty-seven cents to give me as much as I can get? <laughs> yeah, when I was when I was broke, I used to get like five dollars of gas all the time. Actually, on like. In college, I got $5 worth of gas. Yeah, me too. I was like, yeah, can I get three twenty-five? <laughs> right. All right, what's your favorite coach story? Favorite coach story. I got to think about all of them that we had. I usually don't remember with Coach Berdan because he's usually, like, even though he's a small old man. Older man, not old man. Older. He's quite fast. <laughs> he's quite fast. Like, he's really fast. <laughs> and he's faster than my liking. <laughs> and so I forget where everyone else was, but it was just us. And um, the entire day, I was having, like, all sorts of dose bleeds for some reason because that's just something that happens to me. It's, like, in my, like, my little bio of, like, 
love life is just like nosebleeds. Have you ever, like, hold, hold on, have you ever seen any of the new Jumanji movies? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You know where they like yeah. tap the chest and they have the bio and it's like the strengths and that's so just that's what I was just picturing in my head. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? <laughs> Kevin like Hart that. has the one where it yeah. says weakness, cake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weakness would probably be like swimming long distances in a hurry. And nosebleeds. Yeah. But um yeah, he was just talking to me. He was like, Hey dude, are you okay? And I was like, Yeah, I feel fine. He was like, Okay, because you know, your nose is bleeding. <laughs> And I was like, really? He was like, yeah, it's breathing actually quite a lot. And then I was like, oh, uh, oh, wow. Oh my gosh. It was like, it was like, like, it was like kind of coming into my mouth. And I was like, oh my gosh. And like, we were like two miles, no, we were like three miles in or something like that of like our eight mile run because he gave us eight. He gave us like 10 and eight or so, or like 12 and eight or something. Because he loves that. You had no idea. Yeah, and then um, luckily he was like, oh, good thing I have this napkin in my hand. <laughs> I have this napkin in my pocket. And I'm like, number one, why do you have this napkin in like this little butt pocket you have? And two, thank you. And then um, the whole time I was just like putting it in and then like turning it because like it was like, it was really going. And then we just had to stop. And then he was just like, just hold your head back. <laughs> and then we were just talking about like what we were doing and stuff. Sounds intense. Yeah. Yeah. It was a nice bonding moment, though. Very bonding. Okay. We're going to do last segment, rapid fire. We'll do four questions for John first, and then four questions for Michaela. And you have, when as soon as I say it, you have to answer um, immediately. Like, no thinking, no explanation. Just immediately oh. what comes to your mind. Oh, wow. Go ahead, Michaela. You go first. No, she said you first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have we have questions yeah. for John, and then we have several questions for Michaela. No, oh, specific. Oh no. <laughs> All right, John, are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna treat it like um Family Feud. I like family the Feud, part. yes. For the 200 points. Think of me as Steve Harvey. <laughs> All right, ready? What is your go-to gas station food? Um, sushi. Track or cross country? Track. Gatorade or Powerade? Gatorade. Fill in the blank. Taylor Swift is blank. Hot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, now you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the end one. I was excited for that. Okay, that was funny. All right. <laughs> Jay, you do Michaela. Michaela, <laughs> last, last Halloween costume. I think I it was like a hippie. a hippie. A hippie? She was a hippie. Yeah. Uh, scale of one to ten, how good of a driver are you? Ten. Dog or cat? cat? If Kim Kardashian and Jimmy Kimmel were both drowning, you could only save one. Who do you save? Jimmy Kimmel. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yes! What? <laughs> Yo, what are you doing? I oh watched it one of I was wondering which one you were going to go with. Kim K. All D- the way. Disappointed. Kim K. All the way. I'm disappointed in you. Okay, what if Kim K and Kanye, and Kanye were both drowning? Which one would you save? Kim K. Kim K. Oh <laughs> I don't. Yeah. You watch Keeping Up with Kardashians, or what's the reasoning of your loyalty? Well, I do watch it, and I think it's hilarious, and that's why I watch it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love. I I'm not judging. So I fucking love like on the, play. the Kardashians. John, do you listen to Taylor Swift? <laughs> so funny that you say about that. I don't personally, but um, what's that song called? Bad Blood absolutely smacks. Um, yeah. Blink Space smacks. Um, <laughs> Bad Blood's one with Kendrick. So right? you said you don't listen to it, but you're naming all these songs that you really like. You well, it's just because like. I don't know. It was just that one. Just really like some songs just really like resonate with me, okay. and so like I just can't like. There's nothing I can do about that one. <laughs> Bad blood resonates real hard. I like the Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian energy in this room right now. <laughs> like, wait, don't they have beef or Kanye? And- yeah, the Kardashians Kanye. have beef with Taylor Swift. Yeah, so. I don't know what about. And so do um, 
the Cyruses all have beef with Taylor Swift. Do they? Oh. I didn't know that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, yeah. I know oh, that yeah. the Kanye Art beef was like, I think he produced one of Taylor's first albums or something. And then he like rapped about her. And then T-Swift well, was like, you well, got Well, he yeah. interrupted her on stage when she got video of the year, like oh, back God. in like, 2008. And then he like asked for her permission to like rap about her in one of his songs. And he ended up like doing the saying the exact opposite what he had told her he was gonna say. Mm. Oh yeah. And, like like a year ago, Kim Kardashian like released on Twitter like the video of Kanye and Taylor on the phone talking about it, and it's just, like. <laughs> but Taylor Swift, I still like them both. I don't care if they have beef. I feel like me and Taylor. Yeah. The girl <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go ahead, Kanye. Go ahead, Kanye. Go ahead, Kanye. Go ahead, Kanye. Yes. <laughs> go ahead. All right, now you gotta sing one of the T Swift songs before you log yeah. off. Before you log off, give us your best Taylor Swift rendition. All right, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> oh. <Okay. laughs> hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Well, putting the, getting the lights down. Ooh, this is. Oh, hold on. Let me see something. Here, let me, let me get a little bit more light. Bandage to fix bullet holes. You say sorry just for sure. You live like that. You live a go. Bandage don't fix bullet holes. You say sorry just for sure. You love like that, you love for good. Mm, if you love like that. I don't know the next part. Oh, baby, now love, we get no, bad, <laughs> bro. You know, we used to be bad, bro. So take a look what you've done. Cause baby, now we get bad blood on us. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, oh. You're the first. That was amazing. <laughs> you're the first performer on Stable. You Talk. have been the first performer. Yes, sir. On the Stable Talk pod. Stable Talk history laid down. I love that so much. <laughs> well, on that note, thank. On that note, I don't think we can go up from here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, thanks for uh, joining last, us. Do you have any last minute shout outs before we log off? Uh, shout out to my fans, my boy Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was looking up um, podcast activities and they told us that we need to use more motivational quotes and things or like quotes of the day. Our quote of the day is going to be, oh, here's one. I have a Pinterest full of quotes. <laughs> if you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. All right. There you go. Yeah. All right. Live like that today, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, it's been fun. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Good luck with um the semester and everything. Yeah, try and get Hopefully on campus. We'll see everyone on campus soon. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. See you guys. Bye. bye. See you.